Okay, okay. Ito, ito, ito. I think before we talk about the rise of Tulfos, kasi may kinalaman yan sa mga Sara, there are at least two surveys that came out. So marami salamat sa both Pulse Asia and Okta, uh, the two authoritative surveys out there. Both of them, of course, mga colleagues natin yan, kilala natin yan, friends from La Salle, friends from UP. So I can vouch for their credibility dun sa mga haters dyan. Um, Namin na natin pag-usapan ng Google Trends. So ito na, mukhang... So, credibility ko ba? Credibility ko ba? Can you vouch? Um, <laughs> Para nag-hesitate ka. Hello? <laughs> Nagka-cut. <laughs> Para nag-hesitate ka. <laughs> Hindi. <Ay>, hello? <laughs> Sir Ronald, you are beyond credibility. Ayan, nabubuksan ko na yung Okta. Oh. Ganun kakamahal ang yeah, 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 natin yeah. sa Okta. Pero pag-usapan natin mga may sa Okta, kasi in fairness, halos pareho. Yung lumalabas, yeah. except mas mataas pa si Ben Tulfo dito. Nako, may chance yes. pa si dalawang Tulfo mag number one and number two. But bago natin pag-usapan yan, let's first talk about the Pulse Asia survey came out that came out. Actually, two parts yan, no? Namahalaga. First, dito sa uh, sa approval ratings and then sa cha-cha issue. Mukhang na etse puera yung mga cha-cha na yan, di ba? So good luck kay Gadon. Um, yeah. First, pag-usapan natin itong approval ratings, no? So Marcos Jr.'s approval ratings, this is per Pulse Asia, is only 55%. Wow. I mean, this is pretty low, right? I mean, lower than Pinoy at this point, right? Mga 60 plus 70 na si Pinoy, di ba? So this is crazy. And NCR, 47% lang siya sa NCR. That's really, really low. So actually, majority hindi nag sa kanya sa NCR. Ayan na, yes. namarli ka tayo. Uh, in Mindanao, it's 40%. Right? So, ang baba yeah. ng approval niya. 60% has turned against him. Now, if he were to worry, especially among Class E, uh, yung mga pinakamahihirap na ating mga kababayan, so mukhang may kinalaman ito sa ekonomiya. I don't think it's disinformation, whatever. I think some people, some of our kababayan are hurting very much dito sa inflation issue na yan, which can get even worse uh, in the coming years for many reasons. Of course, napanood mo yung interview namin, namin ni... Justice Scarpy, of course, sabog yung issue ako na kusit pagod na pagod ako. But from what I can remember dun sa discussion namin, yung issue ng electricity and power crisis could be big. Kaya desperado din tayo to drill in the West yes. Philippines and Reed Bank. Now, so 48% lang sa E. His highest approval, this is interesting, Ronald, ang pinaka-supportive kay BBM, ABC. Well, more than C, yung mga kalahin natin C kasi A and B nasa loob ng gated communities, hindi ka makapasok dyan. So, First of all, let's talk about this before we talk about the the other side. This is pretty low, right? And yet, it's the middle classes and the more quote-unquote educated who are most supportive of him. How do you make sense out of this? Well, una, ay, uh, uh, yung drop na yan ay significant dahil kumpara ke sa drop ni Digong or ni Pinoy, hindi nangyari yung ganyang ka-dramatic na drop. Ikalawa ay lahat sila, lahat naman sila bumaba eh. No? Ang pinakamababa ang drop ay si Senate President Mig Subiri at 2% within the margin, margin of error. Pero significant yung uh, kay uh, Speaker Martin, no? uh, 9%, at yung kay uh, Vice President Sara Duterte, 7%. Dahil kung titignan mo, hindi namang kandidato si President Bongbong sa 2028. Eh. So mas malaki yung impact kay Vice President Sara Duterte kahit mas maliit yung kanyang drop na 7%. Dahil yung kanyang drop ay uh, continuous. Diba? Yung mga survey last uh, year, by increments, bumababa rin siya. No? Kaya siguro in relation yan, dun sa isang pwedeng natin pag-usapan later on, yung uh, pre uh, presidential preference na nalampasan na siya ni Senator Rafi Tulpo. No? So yun yung, in, in terms of political impact, mas malaki kay Vice President Sara going into the 2028 presidential election. Usually, mas mataas naman talaga ang presidente dahil siya yung head of state at saka head of government. Ibig sabihin, lahat ng sise sa kanya pupunta. No? Uh, at kung titignan natin, sabi mo nga, uh, ang pinakamalaking uh, drop niya ay, alamawa, sa classes ay E, almost 30%. Tapos sa D na mga may hirap ay uh, 15%. So titignan mo na tama yung sabi mo, Big R. Sikmura ito eh. No? Gut level yung, uh, yung tama. Pero meron ding significant na drop siya sa Mindanao. 32% yung uh, din drop niya. Ito, bahagi ito, hindi lang ng gut level. Bahagi rin ito ng away niya with the Duterte na mataas sa, sa Mindanao. 
Pero isa rin na, naka-significant, pareha silang bumaba sa Visayas ni Vice President Sara. Uh, pareha silang significant yung drop. Eh, medyo kay Vice President Sara Duterte, bailiwick niya yan. No? Bailiwick niya yung uh, Visayas, pero significant yung kanyang drop. No? Yung ABC kasi hindi masyadong pinapansin yan. Eh. Yung, yung ibang survey firms, hindi na, hindi na sinasama yan. Eh. Dahil napakaliit. Eh. Napakaliit. Yung D ang pinakamalaki. Tapos siyempre, significant din yung, yung uh, poorest of the poor. No? Mga kanyan eh, mga 18-20%. No? So, uh, alam natin na na may dr- ma- significant yung tama dun sa chacha. 88% ang uh, anti-chacha. So, may tama rin yan uh, kay, kay BBM no? at uh, saka kay Speaker may Martin. Tama. Ay, ay, may tama, oh. may tama rin. Okay, yeah, yeah. Oh. Pero, just to be clear, Sir Ronald, sorry for cutting oh. you there kasi uh, just for people to know the context of the numbers. So, 55% for, for, for uh, BBM only 48% among the poorest Filipinos and only 40% sa Mindanao. So, the reason why I find this very relevant is because, alam mo, the usual dilawan rhetoric na uh, disinformation, disin- it's not like nawala yung disinformation, right? Andyan pa rin mga all the whole maharlika, blah, 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 right? Andyan pa rin mga bloggers niya. So, clearly, yes. hindi mo boto ang tao or hindi nag-express ng sentiment ng tao based on disinformation lang, right? They're also looking at some objective realities. And this is where yes. we're seeing BBM paying the price. But you're absolutely correct that Sara Duterte's numbers are also quite troubling for her. While it's higher than BBM, uh, she, she went down across the board. And I think the only reason why she is still in the 60s territory is because of Mindanao. She has 92% yeah. approval rating in Mindanao. Yeah. So if yeah. not for the Mindanao factor, I think she would be also in the very low 60s or potentially in the high 50s uh, territory. And and I think in the same way, if BBM was not so low in Mindanao, in, in the 40% territory, perhaps his overall numbers would be more decent because it's at 66% in Luzon. But you're also absolutely right. It's not like, if, it, it looks like across the board, everyone is doing bad. 31% lang sa kay Romualdez. So if you know anyone was looking at him as a potential successor, he's doing it worse than his cousin. He's uh, 25% in Mindanao. I mean, big, para ang tanong is, buti nga may mga 25% pa. I mean, like, <laughs> suddenly you would think na actually 25%. Baka, baka, mataas, baka mataas pa yung approval rating mo, big R. Oh, Sabi nga, 25. I mean, <laughs> ako, frenemy number one ako sa Davao, so baka may 50-50 chance pa ako dyan. Um, and interestingly though, Mick Zubiris, his Mindanao connection helped him. So he's at 70% in Mindanao. Yes. Ang yeah, baba sa kanyang yung negative niya. Yeah. yeah. So actually, si Zubiri, just like Sara, they're benefiting from the Mindanao factor. But if you look at everything else, it doesn't look good. I mean, Sara is 52% lang sa National Capital Region and Zubiri is only 41%. Uh, so across the board, hindi na, hindi na lang sinama yung Supreme Court na lang. No? Parang <laughs> hindi na nakalimutan ng tao, di ba? So you're looking at high levels of disapproval here and and significant drops on negative 13% for BBM across the country, negative 7% for SADA. But as I said, it's really the Mindanao factor because her Mindanao numbers practically didn't change. Negative one is margin of error, so re- irrelevant. Yan. Uh, si Zubiri actually got plus 10 in Mindanao, which actually pushed up his numbers. <laughs> so the... Hmm, wasn't it because he was fair on Kiboloy? I mean, like, I'm trying to connect this to the... I mean, I'm telling you, Ronald, maybe the Kiboloy position can help him. I mean, this is a big jump, plus 10. And si Martin Romualdez, negative 17 sa, sa Mindanao. Kinatay sila. I mean, BBM is negative 22 in Mindanao, and Romualdez is negative 17. I'm sorry, Ronald, I cannot think of any other major reason, because inflation has been here for two years. Any other reason than the digong attacks? It looks like the digong attacks yeah, sa, actually work. Sa Mindanao. So basically, sa Mindanao. Pero sa classes kasi, uh, significant yung uh, drop niya. 30% almost sa, D, sa poorest of the poor. 15% sa D. Yeah. No? So 30, yeah, sorry, yeah, 20% yeah, yeah, yeah. sa E, 30%. Uh, oh. Si Romualdez yung 30% drop among E. So pati si Romualdez yung sisi sa inflation. Para kawawa naman itong tao to. Wala naman kinalaman sa inflation. <laughs> Medyo unfair yata to. Ah. Meron na ano dito. Na <laughs> ano. Yeah, but but I, but I you're definitely right. I see the inflation as the class element, but clearly I can see the Duterte attacks as the geographic. Especially in Mindanao. 
Exactly. Yeah. I mean, the Mindanao... Ang sinasabi kasi nila, Big R, right. na medyo nag-taper off naman yung uh, inflation uh, this past two months. Yeah. Pero may gestation period yan eh. Hindi kagad mararamdaman ng tao yan. Ang nararamdaman pa rin ng tao, yung high food inflation last year. Mm. No? At yung inflation uh, after uh, after uh, New Year and Christmas na naubos yung pera nila. So, uh, yun yung, yung pa rin yung, pa rin, yung nararamdaman ng tao. Siguro itong uh, pagbaba ng inflation this past two months, baka maramdaman niyan sa next survey. But not in this survey. But, but Ronald, let's be clear. What we're saying is that bumababa yung pagtaas ng presyo, right? It's not yeah, like yeah. prices are going down. It's like, yeah, yeah. it's only that yung pagtaas ng presyo ay bumabagal, right? So yes. I think people have to remember, when we say inflation is coming down, it doesn't mean prices are coming down. It's just mean the yes. increase in the prices is slowing yes. down. At saka, so it's about general... Pandemic, It's oh. about general inflation. Kung i-deconstruct mo yung, uh, yung inflation, yung general, malaking bahagi ay yung uh, food inflation. At yun yung gut level. Diba yun yung gut level na nararamdaman ng DNE. The other pulsation survey that we have to discuss, which is very important, is yung survey nila sa Chacha. Because mas nakatay, mas na etsepuera. Ang mga, ang mga because we have we've seen a major major collapse in the number of support for uh for charter change bas sa pulse Asia. 88 negative grabe yeah, right? i mean it used to be like 40 30 30 right yeah, yeah, that used yeah, to be the, yeah. it, now it's totally like na massacre yung numbers ng ano so I, i'm just trying to pull out the numbers para lang people will appreciate how bad this is Dun, na it's a puera talaga yung mga nag ed sa puera <laughs> My goodness. So, um, yeah, I mean, in terms of support, yes, the Constitution should be amended now. Um, only 8% in the entire <laughs> country. With margin of error, baka 3% na lang yan. Sila Robin yeah, Hood Padilla, yeah, si yeah. Bato. Um, 88% ang nag no. But hindi yun yung shocking. Ang shocking is, there was a negative 33% change over the past year, Right. Uh, at yung mga, in, uh, yung mga hindi gusto na palitan, amendahan, amendan, actually hindi siya charter change, it's just amendments, 43% more Filipinos <laughs> not wanted to be changed. like So in the history of political advertisement, <laughs> I think Edsa Puera should win the Guinness Book of Record for the most <laughs> palpak backlash na, na. I mean, this is mind-boggling. 43% of people switch sides because of the <laughs> Horrible, horrible. It's a puera yeah. dynamics. I mean, how do you read that? Well, uh, una nga, yung, uh, yung spin. No? Hanggang ngayon kasi walang umaamin na sino yung behind sa People's Initiative. Sino yung behind Charter Change. No? Eh, alam naman ng karamihan kung sino. So, may, medyo negative yung impact niyan. Ikalawa, ay, uh, the narrative, hanggang ngayon, hindi na ipapaliwanag. Ano yung gains ng Pilipino dyan? maliban sa uh, uh, lifting of term limits, shift to a new system, etc. No? So, uh, in all aspects, negative yung dating. Eh. No? Negative yung dating. Parang, uh, parang walang magulang yung people's initiative na alam naman ng mga tao kung sino. Tapos walang, uh, walang impact assessment. Ano ba, what will it do for us? No? Economic na economic, pero malinaw naman kung ano yung political agenda dyan. No? Ikalawa ay uh, walang pali, walang uh, political machinery na nagde-depensa niyan. Halimbawa, walang ruling party, walang ruling coalition, walang political uh, strategies, operators na nakikita ka sa Malacanang. So it's a big uh, gap. no? Dapat kanyan eh. Dapat ang frontline niya is the uh, ruling coalition or the ruling party uh, together with uh, political advisors, strategies, operators. Parang ang laking vacuum na wala yun. At siyempre, yung pinag-uusapan natin kanina, yung ikatlo, yung substance talaga. No, yung deliverables na hinihintay ng tao. Last zona, sabi niya, no? Uh, bilang na ang mga oras ng mga kartel, mga smugglers, mga hoarders, mga sindikato, meron ka bang uh, nakita na nakasuhan o nakulong na hoarder or kartel? Uh, halimbawa, yung napag-usapan niyo ni Justice Carpio, yung uh, utilities, no? Uh, lalo na electricity. Eh, kitang-kita, this is the worst regulatory capture that I've seen. No? Isang pamilya, isang company, ang may hawak ng lahat 
sa ating uh, energy uh, well, no? institutions. no Hindi lang DOE, hindi lang PISALM, hindi lang NEA, hindi lang ERC. No? Lahat. No? So, uh, yung sinasabi ni President Bongbong na anti-cartel, no? anti-regulatory capture, eh wala nangyayari. At makikita yung impact sa mga tao, pataas yung kuryente. Ewan ko yung kuryente mo, pero yung kuryente ko na doble. No, hindi naman na doble yung aking paggamit, no? Maliban dito Actually, sa yeah, Emerald ko, mahal uh, din ko. No? Eh, paano pa yung mga DNE? Kung tayo nga tinatamaan eh, yung mga yung mga C, no? As bagay ako papunta na ako ng D eh. No, ikaw papunta ka na ng A, no? Magkaiba tayo ng direction eh. Ako ng ano, recto. <laughs> ha? Ako C pero papunta ng D, ikaw C papunta ng A, no? <laughs> <laughs> Ayun na, mapamak man naman ako pare. Sige lang. <laughs> Hindi nakikita naman sa mga images eh kung uh... oh, pa- papunta na ako kay Bull Jack. <laughs> Malapit. Ay. <laughs> Ay, para lang para yeah. lang masaya dahil kay ni Justice Carpio, masyado kayo seryoso eh. Seryoso siya ako <laughs> sa book. Sobrang pagod ako nakita mo na yung mukha ko, yung jet lag ko talaga. Hindi mo din joke si Justice Carpio, ako lang din joke mo eh. Hindi gusto ko mag-joke ka so <laughs> Sa, ang sobrang sabog ko, I'm just struggling to stay awake, to be honest about it. And maganda naman, di ba? Maganda naman yung mga tanong ko. Kasi I gave it all na kung ano man doon. Yun na lang tinanong ko. Oh, oh. Pero iba yung, iba, yung, iba, yung, iba yung herdo mo doon sa, sa Justice Carpio kasi dito sa akin. Kasi mas magulo pag sa ikaw kasama. Pero ito, ito kay... Um, Hindi kay Justice Carpio nga, di ba pinagtatawanan niya si ano si 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 ex human rights lawyer. Ako pang uh, sa bagay, ako pang seryoso. Is this laughable? This is a matter of national interest. Di mo magagaling. Carpio pa ako ni Light mo pa ako pare. Ano like, pinanata ni Palelo? Na pinanata ni Palelo sa ex human rights lawyer. Kono ano daw mga pinagsasabi. Ano sinabi ni Palelo? 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 Ano sinabi Sa bagay, kinuha niyong isa yung trabaho nung isa. So parang ano yung expect mo. <laughs> at, at, uh, at uh, nung nagsalita si ex-human rights lawyer, galing siya ng China. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, baka naingit si Panelo. No? <laughs> o, kasi ba, ba, baka naman. Baka naman meron siyang uh, ano, organic medicine baka, dyan sa China. Baka galing China, may dala siyang mautay. No? <laughs> Na hindi niya senior kay Panelo. No? Ayan na naman tayo. <laughs> <laughs> Basta mahilig sa gentleman's agreement yung mga iba dyan. Okay. Sir so Ronald, I think that sets it up. Pero you have to be a gentleman uh, to have a gentleman's Ayan naman agreement. tayo. Ayan naman. Papa, <laughs> ako, ako. Tayo naman na iwala sa human rights. So whatever you choose in life, support na ka, Sir Ronald. Basta, Sir Ronald, wag mo ako ipapak. <laughs> yung nanay ko parati, ingat ka dyan kay Ronald. Pinapak. <laughs> Ayan na. Sige, Sir Ronald, I think this perfectly sense. Ikaw naman makakasuha ng libel, ako lang naman. Ikaw ay collaborator lang. Cyber libel, cyber libel. Uh, sir, sir. Pero I, I dared them naman eh, di ba? Tingin mo, may mga hahas na magsampa sa akin ng libel. Feeling ko, Ronald. Nung, di ba, nung ano ka, uh, inaway ka ni Robin Hood Padilla, lalo ko pang sumikat. So siguro natakot. <laughs> diba, huwag mo nang patulan si Ronald. Sisikat lang yan, lalo. Tapos naging Ronald. Especially, especially the things I know. Ay, ayan. <laughs> Pero ano, okay, ano, off, off the record tayo. Ang ulit yun. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Sir Ronald, ito na. I think this sets the tone perfectly for our next topic kasi pag-usapan naman natin yung surveys about Senate and mukhang tumutugma yung Okta at saka Pulse Asia. Which is always an interesting thing when, you know, authoritative service more or less overlap with each other. Except... In one survey, the Tulfus are doing even better than the other survey, right? And at yeah. the same time, nakikita natin na the true progressives and all, medyo nahihirapan pa rin. So pag-usapan natin mga yan, not to mention also the survey of a Tulfo also leading the presidential race, yes. which we already knew from a different survey na hindi natin sasabihin, pero dito sa Pulse Asia, <laughs> more or less pinapakita, although it's a much more, much closer race. Maraming salamat, uh, Sir Ronald Diamas. Pinahamak mo na naman ako, pero... <laughs> Patawarin kita. Alright, salamat. Ayos lang. Damay-damay lang. Damay-damay lang. Hindi nga eh. Damay-damay lang. Ayoko ko. 